Thanks, Kristen. Now to Franklin County, where the Greenfield Police Department is concerned about the recent uptick in violence in the community. And Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live now with those details. Paris. Chris, Mary, there have been three shootings in the city of Greenfield just this past month. Now, the mayor says this is something they very rarely see, and it's a great concern of hers. In the past month, there have been three shootings in the city of Greenfield. One shooting on July 25th, which led to a high-speed chase between suspects and police. One a week earlier on July 14th, and one on June 11th. The mayor says this community rarely sees violent crimes. Uh, I think it's uh, an unusual situation in Greenfield to have this happen so rapidly. And Western Mass News found those who live here agree. Makes me feel a little scared, like the town is getting a little more violent, which is crazy because it's usually pretty quiet. Now, despite these shootings happening so close together, Acting Police Chief William Gordon says the department does not believe they are connected. He also points out no one was seriously injured and the crimes were all solved within 24 hours. However, overall, he says he's seen a lot more guns in the community, most of them being carried illegally. We have seen a lot more firearms involved in car stops and other dealings with uh, people in, uh, in this town. The mayor wants to bring awareness to this recent uptick in violence, but also let the community know that they are doing their best to prevent crimes like these. Just know that uh, we are working as hard as we can, as often as we can, to make our streets safe. Now, the acting chief of Greenfield PD is worried that the recent budget cuts they've been experiencing will make investigating these shooter, shootings excuse me, even harder. I'll have more on that tonight on Western Mass News at 6. For now, reporting live in Greenfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.